What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Bass. Y'all tuned in to another episode of Ian's Podcast. Today, man, we're going to be taking it right back to the community, man. We always talking about the culture. But right now, y'all, as y'all see, this coronavirus is starting a huge global um, pandemic, man, and which is causing also some stuff to go down on the economic side, which means, when I say economics, I mean, I'm talking about government shutdowns, layoffs, business being closed, kids out of schools, Families not being fed, property rate going up type deal. But in the midst of all that, you always see those superstars. I wouldn't say the superstars, but those helping hands always seem to always rise. Those that stand behind that narrative or that mission that they talk about. Um, and one of those um, places in particular uh, I'm going to be talking about today is uh, Master the North. Man, they located in North Minneapolis. Um, right now we're on their website and we just... We're going to be talking about how basically how other, how businesses and nonprofits um, and just how a lot of companies during these hard times, they can step up. And that's how you tell if you're a business owner, it's always supposed to be bigger than the money. Even if you're a nonprofit, it's supposed to be bigger than the numbers. It's supposed to be about actually fulfilling and living out what the actual mission is and being of service to the uh, to the community and the people you know that basically help contribute you know to your growth and success so that's why honestly i, I want to um really just showcase what they have going on right now because honestly i feel like during these uh during these pressure and times you would think that like it'd be hard you know like well not not necessarily it'd be hard but you know it'd be a lot of challenges will come with doing this but you know they constantly always been stepping out there being on the front front um you know, being a, a, a you know a focal point, a backbone within the North uh, Minneapolis community. So I kind of want to you know chime in on that. So right now I got pulled up on the screen as y'all can see because we're doing split screens. It's on their website. They got a little section where it kind of talks more about it. It goes into uh, the response food program, and it's basically just letting you know, um, you know, during these trying times where every household uh, they they are committed to basically serving you. You know, and they're grateful for the opportunity. Um, so they have hot meals available for youth and seniors uh, and a full shelf delivery service available uh, for the areas in North Minneapolis. And if you want to get more information, you can go ahead and go click that link on their home page. But then also at the same time, the reason why I also want to highlight this was just during the month of March, as y'all know, you know, Master the North, that's a, a mosque. Uh, it's in the Islamic faith, you know, uh, a lot of things they do is um is, is charitable based. You feel me? It's a nonprofit, so people donate money or it's by grants. But you know, during the month of March, you know, doors have been closed, honestly. So they ain't been able to get those same type of um uh, donations uh, that they was getting before. You know, to help keep them, you know, uh, thrive and be able to help keep them assisted at a certain type of level. You know, at a certain type of capacity. You know, employees, overheads, all that type of stuff. Uh, bills, but you know, during this same time, it's like, you know, what they stand behind, you know, being faith based, uh, but also standing behind the community and just being believers. Um, so they still sticking, you know, still sticking to the script. They still out there uh, putting a boost to the pavement in the community, um, trying to make a way and still trying to find a way to better assist. And they're doing that. So I'm going to also scroll down. <laughs> I'm going to scroll down a little bit on their website, a little bit to another section. Um, it just kind of just going more into like um basically you know uh it's another uh, non-profit too as well alma own who's really uh also the backbone behind that um not uh alma own is a non-profit that offers food housing re-entry program and they also have a day of dignity program which they do every year so they've been you know assisting communities in minneapolis you know in need you know for well over some time, you know, in collaboration with Master Noor. And, you know, I just want to scroll down to that section so we gonna go back up. Um, and as y'all see, uh, it's, it's organizations and, um, and programs that's out there that's, that's still willing to assist during these hard times. But I know when you, you know, when you're starving or when you're in a, 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 when you're in a, a crisis, it's kind of hard to kind of think straight. You feel me? So, we gonna help you out. You feel me? You keep tapping in with us. We gonna make sure we connect you to those community resources, so you don't have to, you know, spend too much time trying to figure it out. You can spend more time on trying to actually move on it. 
So if you in that area, you know, and them, you know, that food, that food getting low or your grandma or something like that, you feel me? You want to make sure that she helped being fed, but you got to take care of your household or you got kids or something like that. And normally they was going to school, getting their meals and now they stuck at the crib with you. And now, you know, they just you got to feed them more, you know, spend more time feeding them. You know, that's more money, um, the more resources. Uh, they're here to help you. So, you know, closed mouths, is, you know, literally closed mouths don't get fed. So, if I was you, man, I'd go onto this website, man. Go scroll down to that section, man. Click that learn more button, man. And then, you feel me, fill out that response form and then they'll get back to you. They got more information about the whole process as, uh, the whole process as well, including like, what zip codes they service, you know, who, you know, like what days the deliveries be running, you know, routes, uh, age groups. So like you could basically just get an understanding of, of who qualifies, what qualifies, and just understanding the process. Um, but then also too, they also got the contact information on there. Um, so you'll be able to reach out to them just in case you have a unique or different situation. And they might see if they can accommodate you, you know, they real, um, I ain't gonna say they're real flexible, but I mean, yeah, I mean, they, they understand it. You feel me? Their whole agenda is to help. So I would say that they are flexible, but I understand that they got a process. So they'll help you help better guide you through the process. And so now I just want to tailor back and kind of digress a little bit, go back into what we was talking about. So in this podcast, man, we talk about being the voice of the culture. We feel like this right here is one of the key points of, you know, of our culture is showing how do we assist each other? How do we uh, better, better serve each other? You feel me? Like when you go back and look at history, um, different cultures and, you know, just um, different civilizations had their way of how, uh, how they come together and basically how they assist and, and basically how they got through um, basically trying times. And I feel like this right here, right now, is going to go down in history. So those that have stepped up, those who are stepping up, and those who who are delivering those services, you feel me? I feel like this will always be remembered. And this will go down as, you know, like, you know, just basically go down in history of the culture. Like, these were these were the per, uh, people that stepped up when, when this situation happened. Or, you know, like, they, they put it out all on the line. <laughs> you know, we still talk about those characters uh, today in history. Um, so right now we probably can't see it when them classrooms or when them stories being told 20, 30 years from now, we probably can't. And when those companies that were, you know, starting out in the basement or starting out um, just with a corner shop, when they grow into warehouses and stuff like that, and they start telling those company stories at those, uh, <laughs> and they start telling those company stories at the uh, functions and stuff like that, um, it resonated a little bit. They'd be like, dang, I remember those times. You feel me? I remember, um, like, for example, I remember where Master Nord delivered food to my grandma. You know, I'm happy to see them doing this and, you know, doing this and that in the community still. That is, you know, things like this becomes part of our story. How do you help? How do you better serve? What did you do while you was here on this earth? So I just want y'all to keep that in mind. So before we tune out, I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all know, man, you know, Ain't no support like free support, man. So go ahead, like, share, subscribe. Like I said, I ain't gonna talk y'all ear off. So I wanna hear y'all talk back to me. Y'all the voice of the culture as well. Like when I say we are the voice of the culture, I literally mean we. That's why we call it the family. So go ahead, tap in with your boy. Leave me a voice message. The link is in the description below. Or just go ahead, comment, man. Comment, share it, man. And we just want to hear what you got to say. And you might have the opportunity to be featured on the next episode. You know, we're going to shout you out on the next episode. But it's your boy, Baz. This is Ian's podcast. And y'all know what I'm about to say. I'm tuning out. Peace.